शिष्य आनंद मात की जय द सेंस ऑफ वॉन्ट डज इट नॉट अराइज बिकॉज द डिजायर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट ऑप्टेन्ड वेन वंस डिजायर रिमेन्स अनफुलफिल्ड फ्रूटलेस टू कंटिन्यू क्रेविंग फॉर द सेम थिंग एंड बी डिसअपॉइंटेड टाइम एंड अगेन श्योरली इट इज फ्यूटाइल so long as there is desire the experience of want and sorrow is from the worldly point of view but natural whatever you may desire that is of this ever changing world will bring you sorrow even though momentary happiness may be had at times to seek reality in which no sorrow is found is man's sole duty who is ours only bhagwan is ours always keep this bhav in your mind that whatever is happening is due to god's will from now onwards i shall perform only good actions take such a firm decision this is one thing from the point of view of reality however there is nothing good or bad but as long as you have deh atma buddhi identification with the body in ignorance till then you should never indulge in any wrong action thinking otherwise is only drishti bhram deluded perception bad actions result in suffering once drishti should ever be clean if you can understand that all this is lord's play then nothing at all is bad question ma how can our minds be free for prayer and meditation when we are so burdened by work and family responsibilities what should we do in that case ma let the work be done of its own accord without strain work without the feeling that it is you who are working take it as if it is god's work done through you as his instrument then your mind will be at rest and peaceful that is prayer and meditation if you are ill go and consult the very best doctor if you put yourself into the hands of the greatest you may then remain free from worry and feel whatever happens is all right i have done my utmost but to approach the greatest is difficult and it costs so much one has to give one has to give when approaching god one has to give everything all one possesses shishyanandamai mat ki jai